Be My Valentine by MJ Carr, illustrated by Katie Broughton. Be My Valentine. It says, Duffy Diner. It was the eve of Valentine's Day, and even the moon was celebrating. It's a heart. But inside the coffee shop, it was a night like any other. The mice were huddled in the storeroom, listening for the final click of the key in the restaurant door. Ah, it was a restaurant. That would be their signal that the last waiter had gone home and their own work could begin. One mouse was missing, Isidore. He was crouched in a quiet corner, working on his poem. You're softer than a porcupine. Athena, be my valentine. Ah, oh, I just can't get it right, he wailed, and he tore up the poem and tossed the pieces into the air. More than anything, Isidore wanted Athena to be his valentine. If only he could find the courage to tell her. Athena, she could run faster than any mouse, boy or girl. She could scale table legs with ease. Every night without fear, she leapt from counter stool to counter stool. And she always managed to bring back, clenched between her pointed pearly teeth, the biggest chunk of food of all. Eyes as bright as polished chrome, wrote Isidore. A smile as saucy as ketchup. Oh, what's the use, he moaned. It's all been said before. He crumpled up his poem as if it were yesterday's menu and aimed it for the trash. Hey, Izzy, old buddy, old pal, it was Cosmo, Isidore's best friend. Why so down at the whiskers, inkwell run dry? Cosmo caught the poem in midair and slapped Isidore on the back. Izzy, 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 you've got to talk to her. It's now or never, come on. Cosmo shoved Isidore up to Athena, and Athena smiled. Isidore held out the poem. But right at that moment, the key clicked in its lock. Let's go, Athena cried, snig signaling the others. The mice were off and running. The poem fell to the floor. Athena, Isidore ran after her. All around him, mice were scurrying hither and thither, gathering food. Athena! Athena, I've got this. A crust of grilled cheese sandwich whizzed past his head. Poem that I want to. The corner of a cherry danish narrowly missed his ear. The pile of food grew high and Isidore was trapped. The last mouse back was Athena. In her claws, she held a whole half of BLT, fallen off someone's plate and overlooked by the waiter's broom. Isidore poked his head out from behind the pile. Izzy, cried Athena. I was wondering where you were. Was hoping we could catch up, stammered Isidore. Athena looked at him strangely. Polished chrome, he tried again. But his poem didn't seem to be working and Athena scampered away. I knew it, cried Isidore. She doesn't want to be my valentine. But Izzy, you didn't even ask her if she doesn't believe me. You didn't even tell her that you... Cosmo, I don't have all night to stand here and talk to you. I've got work to do. There's got to be a way to prove to her that I really want to be friends. Time was running low. Isidore stayed up half the night working on a new poem. Then he stayed up the other half memorizing it. I'd swim the widest fountain, he read out loud. Climb the highest mountain. The morning sun cast its still sleepy light across the paper. Valentine's Day was dawning, and Isidore had a plan. Hmm. That night, Valentine's night, as the mice spilled into the coffee shop, Isidore was first in line. He scrambled up to the top of the counter. Athena, he called. She looked up. Watch me! Isidore dove into the long tray underneath the fountain and swam through the sticky sweet soda to the other side. Then he scrambled over the edge, clambered up past the summit of Mount Olympus, and higher to the top of the cake stand. There he is. He shook himself dry and cleared his throat to recite his poem. He opened his mouth and nothing came out. Izzy, Athena called up to him, what in the world are you doing up there? At the sound of her voice, Isidore lost his balance. He tumbled off the cake stand, smack onto the counter. The coffee shop fell silent. Not a mouse squeaked. 
All the mice in the restaurant were staring up at Isidore. He'd made a fool of himself in front of everyone. Valentine's Day was a disaster. Isidore slowly picked himself up. In front of him, next to the cash register, was a small bowl of candy hearts. And on each heart was printed a little saying. Isidore picked one up out of the bowl, and he handed it to Athena. Be my valentine, it said simply. Oh, Izzy, cried Athena. All along, I've been hoping we could be valentines. Really? You mean you have? Athena twined her tail in his, and Isidore grinned. New friend, true friend, happy end, he crowed. Cosmo scuttled by, a soggy french fry in his mouth. Race you to the pickle pot, said Isidore. Athena leapt across the wild aisle, wide aisle to the booth beyond, and Isidore was close on her tail. Uh, there they go. Happy Valentine's.